evening everyone. My name is Bambi, and if you couldn't tell from other videos on this channel, we're a home that celebrates Christmas. However, I know that's not the only winter holiday, so to balance out Chester's, uh, Christmas craze, all I want for Christmas is you! I'm going to start a deep dive into other winter holidays. Avery and Gravy are going to help try and recreate some of these holiday traditions as I explore the history and importance of these holidays. Welcome to Winter Wonders! Christmas holiday. It is called Los Posadas, a period of nine days before Christmas where the people follow Mary and Joseph's travel to Bethlehem before Jesus' birth. The word posada is Spanish for lodging, referring to when Mary and Joseph were unable to find room in the inns and had to sleep in a barn. This particular tradition originates from its roots in the ritual of biblical plays being used to teach doctrine to an illiterate population during the 10th and 11th centuries in Europe. Spanish missionaries brought this pageant over to Mexico to teach the story of Jesus' birth, and the tradition has since been kept up for over 400 years. Imagine it as one large Christmas pageant where the whole neighborhood participates. Two people dress up as Mary and Joseph, and certain houses volunteer to play the inns. The leader of the procession carries a candle inside of a paper shade as the actors travel from one house each night for the nine nights. At each house, the inn responds by singing a song and the group is allowed to enter the home to kneel around the house's nativity scene to pray. On the last night, the final location may be a church instead of a home to signify the close coming of Jesus' birth. The procession can also have various characters found in the Bible story. People will be dressed as angels, shepherds, or pilgrims carrying holy personajes. Children in the procession usually carry poinsettias, and there is always lots of music. So it's like one big parade! Yeah, a parade that goes on for nine nights! But what about the food? The food comes at the end of each night. People will gather together to sing carols and eat. Children get to break apart a special star-shaped piñata made out of clay. Oh, I love piñatas! Can we make one? We don't have any clay. Hmm, true, but we could make a paper piñata. <gasps> we could make it look like Lucy! Yeah, yeah, get the candy, Avery, get the candy! Ugh, why do I suddenly have the feeling like I'm being torn to shreds? Eh, it's probably nothing. It's supposed to be shaped like a star, guys, but I suppose they're in the spirit of things. That was fun! What's next? Bambi mentioned that Los Posadas Parade has lots of music. What kind of music do they have, Bambi? Excellent question, Gravy. There are some traditional Mexican songs that are sung specifically for Los Posadas, as the parade goes by from inn to inn. Here is one of the traditional songs. Oh, 
holiday from Christmas, but a community tradition to go alongside Christmas and the Christmas story. And like any tradition, it comes with its own music, food, and time to spend with family, friends, and those in your community. So when do they open presents? Uh, they don't. What? No presents? That is not the purpose of Los Posadas. In fact, gifts don't happen until another celebration, the Dia de los Reyes, which occurs in early January. Yeah. No presents! Well, not every holiday tradition has to include presents, Gravy. Los Posadas has some great things that regular Christmas activities don't have, like the large parade and dressing up as people in the Bible. Well, that is true. Los Posadas still seems like a lot of fun, even if there are no presents. And there is lots of food! I like food! Ah uh, yes, here are some examples of food that is served on Los Posadas. Tamales, meat wrapped in a corn husk. Bunielos, a crisp sugary pastry. Atole, a warm cornmeal based drink. And café de olla, a special kind of coffee. Hmm, those things sound delicious after a long cold night of walking around in a parade. I think I could whip up some Café de Olla right now. That sounds lovely. It is very cold today. Oh, I'd love a Café de Olla as well. I'm Bambi. I'm Avery. And I'm Gravy. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Winter Wonders. See you next time. Oh, fresh from the Keurig. Uh, actually, Olla means pot, so... I cooked this coffee in a pot, not a Keurig. <laughs>